Yesterday you uh, attended the uh, Linus shareholders meeting and tried to take uh, some of the concerns of the residents of Kwantan uh, to, to the shareholders. What was the, what was the response of the, uh, of the board and, and the chairman uh, of the board, Nick Curtis? And what was the response of the shareholders over there? Right, uh, let us start off with Nick Curtis. So when I uh, attempt to ask questions that is reflective of the sentiment on the ground and uh, also asking you for a plan B in case there's a change of government, he just refused to answer on the ground that is speculative. Uh, the similar question were actually asked by other shareholders as well, not just me. Again, he brushed them aside on the ground of speculation. I think uh, immediately after that, some shareholders were asking the uh, board as well as the chairman, the Nicholas, to allow us to speak our piece and then uh, to let them know what is happening actually over there. But again, they were denied that opportunity. This concern is because the opposition uh, front in Malaysia has promised to. Uh, to cancel the license? Is that what exactly have they promised? Right. Uh, on many occasions, the uh, opposition have pledged to script the project when they come to power. So that is a pledge that many people believe uh, they will fulfill it. And uh, the sentiment on the ground is that whenever this issue is raised, people put all our hope on the opposition winning the next general election so as to solve this issue. Of course, for us as a citizen movement, we do not want to put all the eggs in one basket because should they fail to uh, secure the uh, majority vote, then the project will be forever be there. So we are taking our own initiative as well. Besides helping the opposition and uh, advocating a change of government, we also did our citizens' part try to do whatever we can to get rid of this project. One of the main concerns of the uh, residents is to do with the, the waste that will be produced by this plant, in particular waste that will have some radioactive elements. Now some company supporters are arguing that there is no radioactive waste. What is the truth of this? All right, uh, uh, when uh, Linus apply for the temporary license, they are required to submit to the regulating authority that is uh, Atomic Energy Licensing Board a uh, solution to the management of their waste. So the first submission was titled Waste Management uh, Program. It was rejected by AELB. Subsequently, they had another version of the same document again titled as Waste Management uh, Project. So again, it was rejected. So they did a third submission. This time, the title of the of this document is Radioactive Waste Management Program. After this, only it is accepted and then uh, displayed for public to review it. So all the claims that the waste is not radioactive is proven false by this document. They did mention the, uh, they did quantify the amount of radioactivity present in the waste as well as how these waste will be managed. But without mentioning the uh, long term management plan, they were suggesting that the, uh, the management plan, the long term management is only needed when they fail to find an industrial use for the radioactive waste. So, so far, they have not been able to convince the public that uh, they can recycle this radioactive waste into a viable commercial product. So, in the meantime, what is their plan for storing the waste? This is an interesting question. We have been asking that question. So, according to Linus' uh, public media release, they say that uh, they have come up with uh, a solution that is they have done some research and they are going to turn the waste into an industrial product, something like ceiling board or the road fillers and so on and so forth. 
So when we ask where is your report, where is your scientific uh, research report on this project, they didn't bother to show us, not answer us. Then we asked them who are the buyers. We didn't receive any answer. Then we said, where is your plant? When are you going to build it? When are you going to start recycling it? All these came uh, to nothing, to not. They did not bother to answer at all. So uh, on uh, we pressed further, they give a written commitment to the AELB saying that if they fail to find an industry use for this radioactive waste, they will ship it out of Malaysia. They didn't mention where. So it shows that uh, at the beginning they said they found a ways a use for the waste. Then secondly, if they have found a ways of uh, uh, find a use for the waste, why do they bother to sign a written commitment to the AELB? So we are asking these questions. So obviously this is a ruse. This is actually an excuse to get the temporary operating license. That's why when the license was issued to the uh, liners. We knew that the truth is not that Linus has a solution for the waste, but it is government under pressure and our government's willingness to cooperate with Linus.